Salut les amis, bienvenue encore une fois à notre chaîne de YouTube. Aujourd'hui, nous allons vous présenter encore une fois en vidéo pour enseigner le français bien sûr. Et euh, si vous n'avez pas encore été abonné à notre chaîne, je vous invite euh, à vous abonner et je vous invite aussi à, à appuyer sur le bouton de notification afin que vous puissiez recevoir. Euh, nos dernières vidéos euh, nos, nos dernières vidéos merci ok uh, i have just spoken a bit of french i've introduced a bit in french so that you can get used to the to the french uh, way of speaking and then uh, actually i just said i introduced like i always introduce i i'm saying you how are you hi i'm saying hi salut uh, bienvenue welcome Uh, so and I'm saying if you have, if you are not, si vous n'êtes pas encore été abonné, si vous vous êtes pas abonné à notre chaîne, if you are not subscribed, abonné is subscription. So je vous invite, I invite you to 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 subscribe, to also to hit, uh, to appuyer is to 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 hit the to press the the the, the notification bell. So that you can get our latest, uh, no dernier video, our latest videos. So uh, if you have not done it, so that's what I'm saying. Just subscribe. So I've said it in French. I also said it in Spanish. I said it in Spanish. I hope you heard. And um, actually, uh, I wanted today we are, is another another lessons. We are going to talk about the months of the year. So the months of the year is les mois de l'année. Les mois de l'année is uh, the months of the year. Les L E S. Remember. Is the definite article le, which is in plural, and moi, m o i s, is months. I think you have seen that m o i. You have seen m o i, but without s, probably. So m o i, remember, it's moi. It means me. And uh, if you are a Kenyan, m o i, obviously, uh, it, uh, re it reminds you of uh, uh, a very famous pr president. Remember Moi, uh, Moi, but. Uh, For the people who are born after, who well, were born in the in the maybe in the 90s uh, and so on, they really they don't know him very much. But about the people who are born in the around in the 2000s, they don't know him very much. But people like us, we we grew up uh, mostly knowing him. So les mois, but you say les mois de l'année, months of the year. De is the preposition. And then you always put when you want to say the 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 the, the month of the. You, you, whenever you want to say in in French of the something, there's always de, and then the article defini. So there there's de the preposition, and then l apostrophe meaning the e has been removed. But ane is feminine. But here since it starts with a vowel, you have to remove the e. So okay, without much further ado, le, let's uh, let's know how to pronounce the months because in the video it's a song. So I urge you to listen to the video and if you can try to sing that song and so that you can know those things off head and also then the things that are the, the activities that are said because the song in the song there's the month is said they say the month and then there's an activity that is related to that month so for example in janvier la galette des rois so uh, in the, that is in page one so in this page two I'm explaining also the 
the meaning of those activities that, that are related to the month. But first, let's start with the month so that you know how to say the month, and then I will explain the activities. So let's start with uh, Le Mois. So Le Mois is the month. Um, Le Mois, the month. Uh, L E S M O I S, Le Mois, the month. So uh, January, uh, let's go to January. January is Janvier. Janvier. Repeat after me. Janvier. Janvier. February is février. Février. March is mars. Mars. April is avril. Avril. May is May. May. June is Juin. Juin. In French, remember I told you when I and N meets, it forms a sound like A. That's why you say Juin. Juin. And then let's go to July. You jump over there, the July. Just look at this Le, le Mois. We are looking at Le Mois for the moment. We are not looking at activities. activities. Le Mois. So July is Juillet. Uh, you notice that in French, when two L's uh, they are, uh, follows an I, you have to pronounce them like a Y. So you say Juillet. It's the, it's the same thing with Fi. Fi in French is written F I double L E. Fi means girl. Fi. But you say Fi. You pronounce Fi. So here it's also Juillet. Juillet. August is août. Août. I know some of you will be surprised. You will say août. You, 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 because if you're an English speaker, when you see that that uh, that August, this is the way it's written. If it is the first time you see that word, you might try to pronounce it out. Me, that's what I did because when I was doing French in Alliance Francaise, that is way back. Um, when I was doing before I started going for lessons, when I saw that word for the first time, here I said out, but it is not out, it is out. Out. September is September. September. October is October. October. November is November. November. December is December. December. Okay, so just uh, uh, just repeat like repeat many many times until you know you get the hang of it until you know how to pronounce it. Listen to the song also; it will help you know how to pronounce it. Play with that, amuse yourself, learn how to sing that, and then uh, you can know how to say this month of the year. This is important. In French, whenever you get to pronounce something, it's a victory. You feel it's like a victory, and it gives you the, the urge to go even further. So let's get to the activities. So I'm coming back to Janvier, which is uh, Janvier, which is uh, January. So Janvier, you have La Galette des Rois. La Galette des Rois, they are, you see there in English, it is translated the king's cake. Actually, the Galette of Rois is written around uh, the 6th of, uh, of, of, of February. So it's a celebration, it's a festival or a celebration that is uh, it's done, uh, it's done uh, during January. So it's uh, related to January, so La Galette de... But you can, eat, you can get that uh, cake throughout the year. But uh, when, it, when you'll be, you'll be, you'll see that it is eaten so much, it's during that time. It's... Uh, it's a it's a celebration uh, during uh, during that month, so it's related to that month. And, and in that cake, you have uh, you you have what you call uh, la fève. So a fève is a small trinket hidden hidden in a key, in a king cake in a king's cake or similar or, or a similar dessert or something similar to a king's cake. So um, and the, those three those the, the, they may also be known as trinkets or favors. The French word fève translates translates to fava bean. The 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 the, tra the French word for fève actually um, at, in the origin when uh, when this uh, this uh, activity started in the origin it was uh, the, fa the 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 fava bean. It was a bean that was put inside the cake. 
but as time went by it became now it became some sort of trinkets but it is still called la fève so if you come to france you know they will you'll just yeah, you during that that month you might probably uh, uh, end up in a in a in a party and uh, you might end up eating that cake and when you eat that cake and you find that fable and you find la fève you are you become the king of that day of that party so that's why it is called the king's cake so it's uh, it's related to the month of january so uh but uh it's not a bean nowadays anymore there are small trinkets it's something it's something small you'll find it'll be you'll find it in the cake and uh you when you're eating it it's in the middle of the cake so whoever gets it uh, becomes the king in the party me it happened to me when i came to france i i managed to okay i once it happened to me once or twice i i, I ate the, i ate a piece of the cake because you're, you're given a piece you don't eat the whole cake you've given a given a piece and probably you might find that trinket inside that cake so so when you get that trinket you become the king so oh, it can happen to you too if you are in france or if you have been in france so you, i'm sure those who are in france they have yeah, they have seen this it has happened to them too probably Okay, in, in in February now we have uh, les crêpes au chocolat. Fev February, so February. Les crêpes au chocolat. It's also uh, in relation to. It is also during. It is. It's actually. It's. It, it's eaten in the month of February. It's around the second of February. Actually, in that time of the month, it's when. Uh, it's when it's uh, it's supposed that it's supposed it's it's supposed uh, it's probably the time that the days be starts to get longer so in france it's believed that it's from that time it's believed that from that time it's around the second of so they eat a lot of chocolate pancakes so it's in relation to that it's uh it's uh, it's uh, it's it's the they they call it the chandeleur chandeleur it's something like that it's um the crepe uh, le jour de le jour les crêpes le jour de la chandeleur so it's uh, around the 2nd of, of february so the days are supposed to actually it's believed is when the days be, 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 begins to become longer okay then on on march we have je me déguise en roi so that one is um, se déguiser en roi on in march Je me déguise. It means I disguise myself. Uh, so I hope also repeat these things after me. In January, uh, is la galette des rois. La galette des rois. February, which is février. Les crêpes au chocolat. Les crêpes au chocolat. Mars. Je me déguise en roi. Je me déguise en roi. So in March, it's uh, what you call Mardi Gras. So Mardi Gras, uh, and uh, this we have uh, we have uh, we we people people wear um, they wear disguise. Huh? It's uh, it's like uh, something it's something like uh, like also in, uh, in 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 around October. But uh, this is Mardi is Mardi Gras. So in English, I think it's something to do with Sh uh, Shrove Tuesday or uh, ash wednesday or something of that side or epiphany epiphany so for the most of these things they are religious sort of they are sort of uh, they are they are in relation to religion for for those who are religious uh they are they know this they know about these things so something like ash wednesday so mardi gras uh, so people disguise themselves uh, so yeah it's uh, je me déguise so that's why yeah it says i disguise myself as king je me déguise en roi so because of people they disguise themselves and mm. and then april avril des drôles de poisson des drôles de poisson say after me des drôles de poisson so april actually it is april is full in french uh, you say uh, poisson d'avril so poisson d'avril means uh, april uh, april's fish april's fish poisson is a fish avril is uh, is uh, april so april fish so april fish means uh it means uh april's full so uh, they drool yeah uh, so when you whenever you put des remember it's either spartitive or it is 
the uh, indefinite article plural of indefinite article so that it could mean some fish des des drôles drôle is funny des drôles but you see I'm, i don't even pronounce the es i just pronounce d r o l so that's why i said des drôles de poisson some funny fish may may is uh, du muguet pour maman du muguet pour maman uh, muguet uh, may, may, repeat after me du muguet mm. Du muguet pour maman. Du muguet pour maman. Du muguet du. Du muguet pour maman. So, okay, so in May, so uh, muguet, those are lilies, in, because it's um, uh, lily, uh, lily of. Um, uh, it's a lily, valley, valley lilies. Yeah? So I don't know if you know those uh, plants. I, actually, even in French, it's called lys de valley. Huh? So it is the uh, lilies of the valley. Huh? Lilies of the valley. If you know that, uh, it's. I don't know if you have seen it, but it's. It grows. I, it doesn't grow in Africa. It grows in in weathers in in, in weathers like European weathers. Huh? But um, actually, it's related to to luck it's it's related, it's related to luck and um, it 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 started very very it started in the 16th century uh, with uh, uh, with um, with uh, i think charles uh, charles the ninth or something of that sort because he used to offer them to to his buddies uh, for luck so that's when it started it is supposed to give you luck. it is it is a, it is it is it is uh, given as a uh, as a gift it's offered as a gift in the month of May, and it is uh, meant to uh, it's meant to to give you luck. So, and uh, it is also that it, that plant, uh, I mean that uh, flower. I don't know if it's a flower. That plant does it, it, It's uh, during that month. It is the only month you can anybody can <coughs> you can go and pick them and sell them. Anybody can sell because in France everything is regulated. Yeah, you can't just sell things anywhere. There's no, there, there's no. It's not like in Africa where you see people selling things on the streets and and a day in day out. I mean, you'll find that the guy of Mutura, you see things like that. In France, there's nothing of that sort. Yeah, everything is uh, in Europe. Everything is regulated. So uh, even if you want to sell something outside, you it has to be allowed. Uh, every, yes, it has to be allowed. Uh, you can't just sell. You just can't walk out and start selling anything uh, outside, even on the on in the pavement or in the streets. But during the, the, this month of May, anybody can sell. You can pick those uh, those lilies and you can sell them to anybody, and nobody is going to ask you. And then, uh, okay, then we come to juin. Voila. Le beau temps. So tell, say after me, voilà le beau temps. So voilà means here is or there is. So here is, here is the nice weather. So beau can mean nice. It can also mean handsome also. Beau, when you tell somebody to a beau, it means you are handsome if he's a man. But if it is a girl, you have to tell her to a belle. To a belle. You're beautiful. You're pretty. You're beautiful. Voilà. I think you have heard that for those who are, voila in French you will hear that a lot. Ah, voila, voila le beau temps. Here is the nice weather. So uh, as you have seen there, lily uh, du muguet is lily of the valley for mom and all that. Huh? Now let's go to July. So juillet, c'est le tour de France. Juillet, c'est Le Tour de France. Repeat after me, c'est Le Tour de France. So, Le Tour de France is the French tour. Actually, it's a bicycle competition and it happens in July. In July, and you will see it, 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 uh, cyclists, they race throughout France. They, they, they cycle throughout France and it's a competition and then the winner uh, uh, the winner actually is a uh, uh, is it, it, this, it gets a lot of money so at the end of the at the end of the the, the, the race. So uh, c'est le Tour de France. Août, je pars en vacances. I go on holidays. I go for holidays. So here is je pars. Je remember is the first person uh, subject uh, pronoun. Uh, je 
people, meaning I, je pars, and that part is the verb partir, is the verb to leave. Partir, so you can say I go on holidays, I leave for holidays, I'm leaving for vacations, I'm going on vacations. Yeah. So you can use the word partir en vacances. Je pars en vacances, I'm going for holidays. Je pars en vacances. So here is the verb has been conjugated, is the verb partir. The conjugation I told you, we are going to do that much later. Je pars en vacances. Vacances means holidays. Septembre, so that is September. À l'école, je rentre. Repeat after me. À l'école, je rentre. Means I return to school. So in September is when people have gone for holidays because in Europe, uh, we, people work throughout the year. Uh, but when it reaches uh, from a Ju in, in June and June, um, I mean, not, Ju <coughs> excuse me, July and, July and uh, August, two months holiday. Two months holiday, especially the teachers and the students. They have the two months because the school is closed uh, from July and August. School uh, begins again in September. That's why you see there in September, we, I'm going back to school because schools open in September. All schools, universities, all schools, all schools, they open in September. So July and, and August, everybody, all there, there's... All students, teachers, and students they are on holiday, but also most French people are are working during holidays. So especially during holidays, uh, people there are so many workers, um, people who want to people who come from uh, from from foreign countries, they come to work especially during uh, during these summer holidays because most French people are uh, on holidays. So that's why you say September à l'école gérante. But in French, you see that sentence is because it's been done like that because of the song. But normally, you don't say à l'école gérante. You don't you don't talk like that in real French because this is a song. That's why they put it like that. Normally, you say gérante. You have to start with gérante à l'école. You have to start with je. That is je because you don't say à l'école. À l'école comes at the end. So normally, you say gérante à l'école. You don't say à l'école gérante. But you see, it's because of the purpose of the song. That's why they put it like that. So remember that. October. We are in October now. October. It's a, il ne fait plus très chaud. It means it's not anymore very hot. So in in French, when you, have a, you never you want to say it is not anymore. You have to you have to put the verb between n e that is ne and then plus plus. P L U S. You have to put the verb in between, and then it becomes. I will teach you how to say. Uh, we have not done that negation. I think I'm going to do a lesson with the negation the next time I start. I uh, do a lesson in French. I'll do a lesson in negation so that you can use that how to know how to use the the negation how to neg to do uh, to to say it's not it's no longer and things like that. In so you, in October it is. Il ne fait plus très chaud. Repeat after me. Il ne fait plus très chaud. Il ne fait plus très chaud. November. So it means it's no longer hot because now we are October. Now we are coming. Now we are already. We are in fall. So we're in fall. We are we are approaching winter. So it is getting cold. So it is not it is not anymore very hot. Then November. So November. In, Fra in France, when it reaches November, so people start preparing for Christmas, so they buy gifts. That's why you hear, there you see, j'achète les cadeaux. Cadeau is gifts, so achète is the verb to buy. It is the verb acheter, is to buy. So j'achète, there is J apostrophe because the verb begins with an A, so that's why you have to put an apostrophe. So j'achète les cadeaux, j'achète les cadeaux, means I buy gifts. Décembre, so décembre is... Les sapas sont beaux. Les sapas sont beaux. It means the fir trees are beautiful. So, les sapas sont beaux. So, in France, when it comes to December, it is Christmas. People, it, there's a lot of fir trees. They are cut and then they are sold as Christmas trees. That's why you see they call them les sapas there. Les, les sapas sont beaux because the fir trees, they use them for, they use them for Christmas trees. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Before I wrap it up, I would like to invite you once again to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so, and to also hit on the notification bell so that you can receive our uh, latest videos whenever I, we upload them. 
and uh, if you have a friend who is interested in learning foreign languages you can also forward the link uh, to them so that they can join our community and learn foreign languages with us until next time um, uh, um, uh, uh, until next time in french we say à la, uh, à la prochaine uh, and uh, merci until next time thank you